Hi folks, it's Sonia with 2x2 Legoto, 2x2 Kennel and Dog Care. I'm touching base with you today to talk to you about um, a big question everybody has, and that is how do I exercise my um, Legoto puppy or my Legoto adult? And so I'm going to break down those things. Um, one of the key resources that I use is um, Puppy Culture and their exercise guidelines. Um, they're very strategic in how they have laid that out and I include that um, resource booklet in all of my um, uh, puppy buyers um, puppy kit. And But I'm gonna talk about some of it here. Um, the biggest thing that you need to know about puppies and exercise is that there is a balance. Um, Over-exercising puppies can cause harm to um, growth plates and soft tissue and um, joints. So we want to be sure to handle that adequately. Um, so keeping your puppies indoors all the time isn't the answer either. So, you know, you don't want them, as puppy culture refers to, you don't want them living in a bubble. Um, so you just want to make sure that appropriate exercise is happening. Um, exercise has been shown to increase bone density, so that's a good thing. Um, but over-exercise can, like I said, cause growth plate and soft tissue injury. The biggest thing that um, I think everybody probably needs to be aware of is that a lot of months, weeks and months in your early puppy's life will be self-directed play, as um, puppy culture calls it. Um, free play, that's what we call it. So they're exploring, um, they're um, just um, meandering around. You know, you've got a backyard for them to play in, or perhaps, you know, they're old enough to um, venture out to a dog park because they've had their um, vaccines um, completed, their series completed. Perhaps you're taking them to doggy day, uh, daycare. Perhaps you've got neighborhood dogs and you've arranged puppy play dates. Those are the kind, that's self-directed play. They're, you're organizing it for them, but they will, um, let you know what they can and can't do and you just are there to guide and facilitate that. Um, if they show any fatigue or they flop down or they refuse to walk, you need to listen to your puppy and, and pick your puppy up and finish the walk or give your puppy adequate rest in their um, exercise pen or in their crate. Um, so that's the, the kind of rule of thumb on that. Um, some of the things that we like to do are hikes. Um, you can do a hike in your backyard. You can do a hike to the park. You can do a hike around your um, neighborhood. And, you know, we say um, 15 minutes one direction and 15 minutes back um, for a 16 to 20 week old puppy. If they're between 10 and 16 weeks, you need to listen a little carefully, but you can do 10 or 12 minutes one direction and 10 or 12 minutes back for a total of 20 to 25 minutes. Um, you're working your way up on that as they get a little bit older. Um, we love the idea of um, puppy play date. Um, you can act as a puppy matchmaker and that's a lot of fun. Um, finding the right playmate for your dog, for your puppy. Um, you just have to consider who's in your neighborhood and who's going to be the best playmate. You know, you may have um, some kind of little terrier who will terroristically um, play with your puppy, or you may have this giant golden retriever who's just kind of relaxed and ho-hum and lets the puppy do whatever and so considering um, considering your puppy's size and activity level along with considering the other breeds um, and their activity level and and how the how well they play and sometimes this is trial and error 
Um, and we are huge proponents of introducing puppies in neutral territory to other dogs. And by that I mean um, there's no stress or tension because that follows right down the lead. Um, we're not anthropomorphizing. We're not anticipating issues. We're just facilitating. So bringing the puppy over to your neighbor's home who has a dog who has reportedly had issues in the past um, may not be the best idea. Maybe that dog can come over to your house to visit for the first couple of times. Um, the best kind of dogs to introduce your new puppy to are dogs who are very middle of the road, very easygoing, and don't get their feathers ruffled. So dogs that aren't territorial. Like introducing my son's Belgian Malinois um, requires finesse because she is one bossy babe and um, she likes to boss everyone around and the way she does that is with her mouth. We lovingly call her our Belgian Malingator and she barks and snarls and just looks like she is ferocious. She's got a heart of gold and she just wants to tell everybody what to do. You go do this and you go play over here and I know you're the new guy on the block. Um, I'm just going to let you know that I'm in charge. Snarl, snarl. <laughs> So there's just some helpful tips. Um, um, people ask about stairs all the time and puppies. And um, we like to tell people that they've been introduced to stairs. And they have. But we have three stairs in our house. Three stairs off the front porch. Three stairs off the back porch. And three stairs from our mudroom up into the house. Um, we are not proponents of puppies going up and down stairs um, until they're older. Now, does that mean if you live in a two-story house or a house with a basement and stairs that you shouldn't have a puppy? No, it means that you probably need to carry your puppy up and down those stairs for a little while and then set them down on the bottom three stairs and then five stairs and so on to get them adequately used to that because that can be a strain on puppy joints um, <coughs> and then you're at risk for developing hip dysplasia so um, limiting until your dog is you know six nine twelve months old limit the number of times they go up and down the stairs um, and how many stairs um, so how do you tire your puppy out um, if you don't have adequate time for long exercise sessions? Well, it's easy to tire your puppy out. Um, 15 minutes of some kind of problem solving or some kind of training, um, pr particularly when you're trying to shape a puppy's um, behavior, that makes them think and that wears them out. So for instance, we suggest um, two to three five minute training sessions a day. That will really tire your puppy out. In another video I talked about um, tug of war and that is not good for a couple of reasons. One, um, it can create aggression where there was none. It can um, damage tender teeth that are just taking root or are in the process of growing in or falling out. Um, it can also harm your puppy's neck. Um, so we are, we suggest saving that for later and after you have had adequate training about how to properly do it. And that's, there's YouTube videos about that. Zach George, for instance, has some of the better um, videos about that. Um, so some other ways that you can um, tire your puppy out, um, the recall, so where one person is sitting across the room from the other and they're recalling the puppy back and forth, back and forth, you're killing two birds with one stone, you're wearing your puppy out, but you're also teaching them to come when called. Um, oddly enough, teaching your puppy to stay on their place, the place training that I teach people, um, that will wear your puppy out. We, oddly enough, it will because they have to focus so intensely. 
um, throwing a ball, throwing a frisbee, and playing retrieving games is is great. Playing hide and seek, um, hide and seek with toys and treats is fun. Um, and then just a good old walk, that's great. But as I mentioned, you'll want to um, make sure you're not doing anything sustained past 10 or 15 minutes. For instance, if you have a 10 to 12 week old puppy, you know, 200 feet at a time for continuous sustained walking is significant. Um, you can break those 10 or 15 minute sessions up when you're walking in your neighborhood with um, some sniffing, allowing them to sniff and kind of cruise around. Um, and then when it's time to walk, you're all business again. We're, we're, we're done sniffing around. Um, you can do what puppy culture calls the sniff and stroll session where you take your puppy someplace new and just let them drag the leash around and they can sniff everything to their heart's content. That is especially um, great for Lagoto because, you know, they're a scent breed. Um, jumping and other impact activities for puppies that are 10 to 12 weeks. Um, the bars, if you're going to do any introduction to agility, need to be all, all the way on the ground. Um, we suggest no more than one or two obstacles in a row per puppy culture guidelines. Um, your puppy does not need to go up or down stairs unsupervised and it needs to be slow no more than three to five stairs. Um, carry your puppy if they need to do more than three more than three stairs. Um, chasing, um, swimming, um, your puppy should wear a life jacket um, at this age. Um, retrieving and tossing toys in shallow water is great fun. Never into deep water. Um, puppies should be allowed to swim only if they volunteer to do it, but never forced. And volunteering means that you can put up a wading pool in your backyard, um, a little kiddie pool. Um, you can introduce your puppy to your pool by getting in with the puppy um, and the puppies on the edge and you've got toys and making it a high interest um, activity. Lagoto usually don't have any problem with this. Um, it, you will find that sometimes your Lagoto, you just you want them out of the water, not in it. Um, we also tell people, um, and this is common sense, you don't want your puppy doing any fast stops or hard turns. Um, if you're doing any kind of fun rally or agility activities, um, weave poles should be slow and um, slowly um, introducing that. We don't want them zipping through there. We don't want a speeding up. Um, 20 minutes, 30 minutes of formal play dates with other dogs is, is adequate. Um, those are some things that are, that are very beneficial. Keeping fresh water in their exercise areas or taking um, one of those little collapsible bowls with um, some water for puppy if you're going to be hiking or at the dog park. I'm not a big fan of letting your dog drink out of the communal dog park water at this age. Um, well, they really won't be exposed to other dogs at dog parks until they're 16 to 20 weeks. So, but just a mention, word of mention um, right there. So your puppy is growing, they're 12 to 16 weeks. You can gradually increase the length of walk. I suggest increasing it um, by 200 feet um, um, by the time the puppy is 16 weeks old and you can walk 200 feet in 10 minutes. Um, you can increase your um, time on walks by another 10 minutes. Um, the puppy can go out in a very safe yard and, and explore at their own pace at this age. Uh, obviously you will be there to supervise, but they can, they can go out on their own and do that. Um, we don't do any directed running uh, unless they are self-directing their running. So, oh, excuse me again. 
you don't want to hook up a leash and go for a run with your puppy at this at this point. Um, anything in terms of agility needs to be on the ground still or um, maybe maybe that high off the ground, three inches. Um, swimming again, you can still wade and play at shorelines. Um, they can climb on and off low platforms or rafts into shallow water. They can retrieve and um, toss toys in shallow water. It is important to mention here too that a puppy's immune system is not completely set up for full introduction into freshwater um, ponds, streams, um, rivers and lakes, especially ponds. Um, they can have some yucky stuff that can harm a puppy. So waiting till a full immune system until puppies are immersed is beneficial. Um, again, chasing, they can roll balls and drag toys around. Um, no fast and sudden stops, no fast turns. Um, we're still limiting their time to 30 to 45 minutes with um, play dates. And where you start to see some increase in activity is in the four to six month range. You know, they can probably go four, four to 600 feet by the time they're six months old. And so that's a good 30 to 45 minute walk um, total, not in one direction. So again, you're 15 to 20 minutes in one direction. Um, your formal training is still at the five minute increment, but you're gradually increasing what they can do in terms of their sit stay or their down stay and their, their place training. Um, running still, you do not want to have any directed running. Um, the puppy can run as much as they want. Um, you can start introducing them to walking at your side at a brisk pace at this age, but no more than five minutes with that brisk walk. Um, everything else should really be the same. You know, your puppy play dates with um, other dogs in the neighborhood or at um, doggy daycare um, needs to be kept under 30 minutes. Um, a puppy can have free access to other puppies, but when playing with adult dogs up to about six months, um, you need to limit as, and, and make sure that your puppy's not harassing other adult dogs. Um, that is a very good way to have an adult dog make a correction. Um, we do enforce rest periods um, at this age because you can have some overstimulation. Six to 12 months, um, walks on pavement can still be kept short. Um, walks on dirt and turf can be increased. Hiking activities um, can be increased to, you know, 30 minutes. Um, doing the best to keep the walks um, under 30 minutes um, is great. You can increase your self-directed play to about an hour. So puppies that this age can play for an hour with other playmates at doggy daycare, at dog parks, um, and jumps can be gradually raised to, um, oh, about six inches, no more than 10 inches. Um, so that's about elbow height. Um, the rear, um, rear end awareness, meaning your dog can start doing things that have a little bit of an impact on their rear end, can start to increase. Um, stairs are still a hazard. You've got good traction on them, or they're carpeted or non-skid so non surface. Um, your puppy can start doing stairs freely at this age. Um, chasing and tugging, uh, rolling boy balls, chasing balls, um, dragging toys around. Um, you can start the tug of war at this age, a very gentle tug of war, if you have watched your training videos and you understand how to do that. We're still not allowing fast turns or sudden stops. Um, 
Lure coursing can be introduced at this age, but it needs to be a very gentle lure coursing. Um, your puppy play dates can be, you know, 30 minutes to an hour at this point. And um, the puppy's increased body mass can make him more liable to injury. So, you know, I'm not suggesting that you keep your puppy um, sheltered or anything. Let them direct it. But, you know, um, hooking your dog's collar up to a leash and expecting them to go for a an adult human run is not um, probably something that either of you would enjoy at this point. Um, you may have to enforce nap time, um, especially if you've had a play date or you've been on a hike or you've been to puppy play, play day or daycare or the dog park. 12 to 18 months, um, your um, walking on pavement should still be kept short. Um, but you can walk on dirt and turf um, as as easily as they maintain that pace. Um, you know we're we're doing a solid thirty minutes to an hour at this age. Um, sixty minutes of moving at a slow pace with lots of opportunities for the puppy to snop, stop and sniff around is fun. Um, running. Um, the puppy can run as much as they like at this age. You can introduce a short 10 minute um, slow run at this age on turf or dirt. Um, running on pavement is not advocated. Um, introducing agility at this age um, with an agility trainer, they will know what to do with your puppy you're not going to do huge teeters. You're not going to make fast turns. You're not going to do these crazy weave pole tricks. Um, but maintaining the training. And by the way, if um, there's families out there who've never considered doing anything like this with their family, Rally Obedience and Agility are the bomb.com. They're so much fun. It's fun to teach your dog that increases your child's and your dog's um, self-esteem, as if a dog needs self-esteem, but it increases their confidence. And, you know, my daughter's old enough, she's nine now, and she's been accompanying me to lots of dog classes, and I've been letting her um, run a couple of our dogs through, and she is just delighted by this, and it's a great family experience and so we we really enjoy doing that as a family all right so moving along um, the last segment um, 18 months to two years your hikes and walks can increase as long and as rigorous as you and your dog both enjoy you're going to make sure that you're consciously aware of your dog's soft tissue and their endurance and they're still maturing through about the age of three years old so increases should be gradual um, and you'll want to give adequate rest, stop, or alter your plans. If your dog appears tired, they don't want to take another step, they drop where they're at, or they refuse to walk anymore. Listen to your dog who is listening to its body. Um, running and endurance training can gradually be introduced at this time. So whatever your dog can increase, but we suggest no more than an increase of 10 minutes per month. So if you want to run five miles, that would take you five months to build up to, if that makes sense. Um, jumping can be increased impact activities, the stairs, they should have full access to being able to go up and down stairs at this age. Swimming competition can be introduced at this age. Dock diving is wildly popular among the Lagoto community. Um, chasing, if you're throwing a ball and your dog tumbles head over heel, um, don't, don't throw the ball. Roll it or lob it. Um, so just being aware of your dog's neck and the rest of their body. Um, 
tugging, tug of war, those kind of activities. Um, you've been watching videos and you know how to do this. So um, introduce that as you see fit. And if you need help, let me know. Um, I always tell people when you're introducing new dogs at this age um, to have an adequate barrier. Um, we suggest introducing dogs um, between a fence row or between people. Um, so just to make sure that, and I don't want people to be anxious because if you've well socialized your dog, then they're not going to have problems, but other dogs could have problems. Um, we also find that spaying and neutering too early um, increases dogs, um, it almost stunts them emotionally. And so meeting other dogs um, who have been spayed and neutered early, you, you can see some issues. But um, again, you in the beginning, you introduced your dog to 50 dogs in 100 days and 100 people in 100 days. And so you're not having issues with that. But just be vigilant. So um, if you ever f find yourself in a dog fight situation, um, I always find it helpful to throw down food, um, dog food, treats, um, and then um, separating them. You can use a chair to separate them. Um, you don't ever want to reach your hand in the middle of a dog fight, um, but hopefully that won't ever happen um, because you've socialized your, your puppy and you, you got a puppy from us who has an adequate foundation. So that's kind of the gist of our thoughts on um, introducing puppies to exercise and helping your puppy um, grow in its endurance while it is maintaining proper um, bone and joint and soft muscle, soft muscle um, tissue to prevent injuries. Um, enjoy your puppies, be outdoors with them, play with them and let them explore. There's so many great activities to do with your dog, truffle hunting, frisbee. Oh, and a side note, if you want your puppy to hunt truffles, then you'll pick your truffle flavor. And much like we do when our puppies start eating, we imprint them, all of them. Um, we feed them in dishes that have been wiped with truffle oil. We use toys that have truffle oil um, infused in them, so imprinting. But you can you can uh, find that there's a lot of benefit to that. And if you want your puppy to play with um, frisbee later, feed your puppy out of a frisbee. And you want to make sure that you're using the correct frisbees. Don't just buy one at the store. Make sure that you're getting an appropriate. Um, Dog frisbee approved frisbee. You can harm teeth and the um, bones in their jaw and soft tissue around their mouth. Um, so that's kind of it. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, um, you can reach me by email at 2 by 2 legoto at comcast.net. Like our Facebook page, which is Facebook forward slash 2 by 2 legoto Make sure that you like this, share it, and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.